If he failed, he failed. Yeah. Did he fail? We'll find out. 20 seconds. Wow, the 22nd. Okay, we gotta wait till if he failed, then he fail. Oh, then that's it. Mm -hmm. that what do you think? What do you think? Bullshit, we what? can't have that. If you fail, you cheated, you cheated. Well, what do you think as far as punishment? Should they go full throttle with punishment? Or should they be lenient because he's Ryan Garcia? Oh, um, ain't no lenient. Nah. <laughs> ain't no lenient. <laughs> it ain't no lenient. Uh, you're going to find him, right? Yeah. But better yet, should they keep it like, should they keep it like, like what they normally do, like six months? Or is that not necessarily a good enough punishment for boxers nowadays because they're not fighting enough anyway? Or should he go for a tent murder? A tent murder charge? Oh, <laughs> a, B, or C. I say, I say let everybody use, I say let everybody use what they want to use. <laughs> go all out. It'll make, it'll make the sport better. Everybody just right. go all out. If that's agreed upon, that's dope. But being that it's not agreed upon, should Ryan Garcia face full penalty charges? Uh, 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 I can't say that. I, don't, I can't say that. I can't speak on that in, in regards to, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm from a different era where a lot of people was using it way before I even thought about it. And and I, I fucked around with it. And... Uh, I know people who did it before it was a big thing, and I know people who did it. I'm like, I came late to the game with that shit, and, and by the time I got on, they had everything to find out you did it. So I say that to say, um, you know, it's hard for me to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, to the man, um, I can't really say. Man. I really, I, I think that. I think that he should, you know, be suspended, and you know, but let's look at how much he was. You know what I'm saying? Because like with me, it was some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But what they're saying, it was two two banned substance that was found in the system. Two of them. Uh, I didn't know that. So that's but, like having but speaking of the gun and then putting hollow tip bullets in it. Well, well, Shannon, <laughs> you was you was accused in the past. <laughs> Huh? Dad be trying to were put you people in jail. In I'm sorry, say that again. Were you were you accused in the past? Yeah, I was. Yeah. And what was the substance? Uh testosterone. Yeah. Testosterone. Yeah, I wasn't producing my own and I got a I got a letter from everything from the doctor. I wasn't producing my own. Uh, you know, I was suffering. I I've been taking asthma medication and steroids for asthma since this. 80s, 70s, when they, they came out with it. I was born with asthma. So I've taken every drug under the under the system, and it suppressed and depressed and stopped my, my testosterone from building at a young age. You know what I'm saying? So when I was suffering from depression, it was because of the low testosterone levels. I, I, I took testosterone to increase my mood and increase my and, and brain a sense of well-being to myself because of depression from a lifetime of taking medication for breathing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. With the hormone levels just, you know, I also was taking um, single layer at one time and I had an adverse a adverse effect to that. Uh, prednisone as well. So I've taken different steroids that have caused adverse effects to my testosterone and, you know, I've always had to deal with that in a lot of ways. Wow. So, so basically, so basically, you saying that when you took your steroids, you took your steroids for a uh, for a health reason, yes. not to not for a reason to help you enhance yourself to win the fight. Not at all. Not at all. I took it for health reason, depression, and it it was the only thing that could help me because of my low T levels. I had at one time the T levels of a twenty eight. Uh, that's before I've ever tried anything. My low, my level, my levels are twenty eight. That of an 80 year old woman. I was suffering from depression. I was crying every day. I was losing my hair. It was just a lot of mental, mental things going on. And then I went to the doctor and he said, "Yo, you got low testosterone." You know what I'm saying? And, and and the doctors. Let me just tell you something. The doctors don't be knowing shit. You know what I'm saying? It was my own research in the time in, in, in the late late or early 2000s 
that was like, yo, why am I feeling like this? And I said it's chemical or something, and I came to the realization that it was hormonal. And a lot, a lot of men, a lot of men suffer from low testosterone levels, and then it, it, it leads to other things which you couldn't imagine: suicide, eating disorder, eating disorders, crime, crime, uh, low impulse. When you see people do things sometimes of aggression, you think, oh, he got high testosterone. It's actually low testosterone sometimes. Triggering your mind to do things that you wouldn't have usually done, but it's hormonal, man. It's so hormonal from what we eat to what we drink, sugar levels, the salt levels. I had to do a total, like, I had to do, I had to go down a, a path, a journey to learn these things on my own because I went to mad doctors and they don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I was like, damn, oh, take this. I was taking, I was prescribed Depakote, Seroquel. You know what I'm saying? That made me 400 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Meanwhile, mm. it wasn't doing nothing for my testosterone. You wow. see what I'm saying? Now tell me this, tell me this. When you were taking your testosterone, did anybody tell you that possibly this can enhance you enhance your boxing strength speed and everything like that did you did you have any kind of knowledge of that i wasn't boxing at the time i had stopped boxing so when i oh. it, it helped me get back in shape lose weight again sense of well-being it made me feel wanted to live i was suicidal mm -hmm. i wanted to die i didn't want to live i'm gonna keep it real with you nobody wow. knew it but i was telling myself yo everything see it was it's that talking in your ear you ain't doing right. You bad. You this. You fucked up this. You did this. And it just be, you know, people take their lives every day, bro. You can't take it for granted. You see somebody, you talk to me today, I'm cool. You know, that's Shannon. But you don't know what I'm, what my mind is going through. And then you hear the next day, yo, Shannon off itself. You know what I'm saying? Robin Williams. So many great people that we might not even think have went that route. And I'm not ashamed because I'm not the only person. But I know one thing I did. Now, why I'm not ashamed no, is because guess what? I went on a self journey to fix it, and I know that, that I know now I can't eat certain foods. I can't, um, I cannot, I can't not work out. I have to work out because if I don't, working out increases my increases my testosterone. It, it increases my endorphins. When I don't work out, I get depressed. I get sad. I get, I, I eat bad. So it's all lifestyle. Lifestyle. So, but again, to answer your question, Zab. Did I notice it when I got back in shape? I was back to me. So it wasn't like I noticed something. I know right. I do. I ain't gonna front. I noticed that along with other things helped me get back to the Shannon Briggs. That I was like, okay, now I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? But you can take you can take that shit all you want. If you don't train hard, it ain't gonna. It ain't no shortcuts. It's gonna help you sleep. And recover. It's gonna help your your mood. It's gonna help your everything. Every it's so many different things. But this ain't about that. And I'm not justifying no man taking nothing that another man ain't taking. Don't get me wrong. I'm not justifying that. What I'm saying is, yo, listen, boxing is a is a sport that look. If we ain't taking it, we ain't taking it. But there's a lot of people out there. That suffer. I know James Tony at one time was suffering from the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And I remember him being, you know, saying not not being able to produce. And a lot of men. And let me tell y'all something, champ. When I was coming up in the '90s, man, you I could tell you everybody that was taken. After the, I didn't know it at the time, but then when I found out, I was like, word. That's why they hitting like that. And and it was different in the '90s. I ain't no snitch. But I know the names. <laughs> Zab Judah? Is one of them Zab Judah? Not at all. No. no. At all. Okay. I'm, I'm talking no. about heavyweights. <laughs> I'm talking about heavyweights. I'm talking about heavyweights. All heavyweights. I'm talking about the, and they was knocking. Everybody got 30 KOs. I don't know. Hey, okay. And you might be taking us. Hey, yo, Kev. 